Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Sothboy here, back with another video. Today, I have another camp build, and I am so happy to bring this one. I've always wanted to do a log cabin build, but I've never been able to get the plans for the log cabin, so luckily I was able to get them from the shop finally and be able to build it. And I know it's been a long time, guys, but if you guys would not mind dropping a like on this video, if we can get to 10 likes, I will drop another camp build ASAP. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so guys, this is what it looks like when you spawn right into it. So you can get a good view of the cabin and get a good view of the landscape around it. In case you guys were wondering, this is where it's located on the map. If you need uh, Vault 76, it's right over here for reference. All right, so before we go inside, let's go take a look on what's going on out here. So as you guys can see over here, I kind of wanted to go for like a hunting cabin kind of feel. But then again, a hunting cabin wouldn't be this big, but that's okay. Uh, so if we go down over here, this is my shelter entrance. I just kind of use your standard design. I don't know where I saw this, but I saw this somewhere. And ever since then, I kind of just used this design. I really like the way it looks. It kind of looks like you're actually going into a bunker. Um, if you look to the left there, you can actually see what's powering this whole build. It's just one fusion core reactor. Uh, it's kind of overkill for builds, but anyways. Uh, this is kind of my party area. This is where we all kind of hang out, uh, soak in the hot tub and get that... Uh, well-rested boosts and the fortune teller over there for luck and the communal fire pit and i actually really like the way it looks uh when i first got it from the shop i wasn't expecting it to actually be this big but yeah it is actually pretty decent size so without further ado let's go ahead and enter the actual build itself um i kind of wish the outside looked a bit more interesting but it, it's okay i, I it could have turned out a lot worse uh and yeah this is what it looks like inside uh it's pretty pretty cool build if you ask me uh let's close this real quick okay so yeah so whenever i need agility i use the punching bag there uh it kind of looks good next to the doorway but anyways i use these rubber mats here i really think it makes the workbench look way better than if it was just on the ground by itself and I really like the way that this area turned out. In fact, this is probably my favorite part of the build. It's the workshop area. And I try to use every empty wall I have to uh, fill it up with something. And I even started using Fosnosh decorations. And I really like the way they uh, kind of add to the build. But yeah, uh, if you look to the right here, you can kind of see my living area. There's a fake fire pit and uh as i said earlier this is kind of a hunting cabin kind of thing so i, I filled up the walls with mounted heads and uh yeah and uh it really 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 turned out better than i thought it would and uh i know it kind of messed up i have a mounted sloth head but hey uh even brothers brothers fight sometimes all right uh also i really like the lighting in here it kind of looks more like a warm kind of feel and i really like how the lighting turned out but anyways uh, that clown scares the living crap out of me. I don't know why I placed it down. But yeah, so we can just sit here, uh, hang out with my friends. Uh, it doesn't happen very often because we're usually busy doing events. But uh, as you can see, uh, Death From Above just got done. You gotta love it when someone drops a nuke during the video. But uh, yeah, uh, speaking of events, I'm going to be going over the top 10 best events. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, so we got an Eatatronic here. Uh, this is kind of like my kitchen area where we kind of just, you know, eat. I mean, I know they're all just stash boxes, but it's more of a decorative thing. And I also have the cooking stove there for when I need to cook cook up food. So if we go upstairs here, out of the way, Grandpa. This is Grandpa's room. As you can see, his bed is 70 years old. He said he had that ever since he was born and he wouldn't want to part ways with it. So I, I gave way and let him keep it. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of lice on it, but uh, we'll just let Grandpa keep his, his favorite things. Uh, also, Santa's been stuck in the wall here for like a really long time. If anyone knows uh, how to get him out, let me know. Uh, he's kind of, he's kind of, kind of got to get presents for kids. Anyways, uh, this is my, de uh, well, not my desk, Grandpa's desk. It's empty because he's boring. Uh, over here is Leroy, Leroy the gorilla. Uh, he kind of just sits here uh, all menacingly. Uh, kind of makes me uneasy. That's his cousin Jenkins over there. He just kind of sits, stands there. But uh, he's right next to what's left of Earl, Earl. Yeah, poor Earl. What a, what a sad story. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> this is kind of like our, uh, our TV area. Shut up, bird. Shut, shut up, bird. Shut up. Anyways, this is our TV area. Uh, this punch bowl is actually full of stuff. Actually, what's in it? Oh, lovely. The, the essentials. Vintage nougat shine, old possum, and a bunch of moonshine. Uh, very healthy. Uh, I'm sure it is very healthy for your teeth and everything. Uh, if we go back over here, this is my bed. I really like the way this area turned out. 
Uh, I wish I had more signs. I kind of run out of signs, and I don't really want to buy more. So, yeah, we're just stuck with a bunch of caution signs, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. Uh, as you can see, I used the Foss Notch flags over there. I really like the way those look in builds. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for, for the whole build. I got this piano, but uh, yeah, industrial, industrial fan up there. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please drop a like. And uh, you guys really, really, really mean a lot to me. I love this community, and I love being a part of it. And yeah. Uh, if you guys want to see more content in the future, let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching and taking a little time out of your day to watch my content. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.